When debugging or troubleshooting a design, one of the most critical tools is your oscilloscope's triggering. Triggering allows you to specify certain signal characteristics and then capture and see them in a stable display. But what if your oscilloscope doesn't have a trigger mode for the specific signal characteristic you want to capture? Capturing a long acquisition and searching through it is not an efficient way to do your job. This short video will provide an introduction to a graphical triggering technique with a quick comparison of the capabilities of visual triggering on the Tektronix MSO DPO5000 series and zone triggering on the Agilent MSO DSO X4000A series. Let's begin with a bursty serial clock signal. Although we've triggered the scope and the edge is stable at the trigger point, the overall display is not stable. Visual trigger adds a graphical qualification to the trigger definition. To begin, we draw a box to the left of the edge trigger point with the mouse or the touchscreen, and then require that the signal stay outside of the box. Next, we duplicate the box, move the copy to the right side of the display, and adjust the size of the area to build a burst width trigger. Visual trigger can be used with multiple signals and is used to specify the key characteristics of the signals. In this case, we've built a simple serial pattern trigger to capture a 01010000 binary pattern. Visual trigger shapes can be rectangles, triangles, hexagons, or very complex polygons. But what is visual trigger really doing? Notice the graphic shows that the edge triggered acquisition is qualified by the visual trigger as defined by the areas on the display and the logic equation at the top of the display. Once we've defined the visual trigger, we can apply it to a long time window to find all the matching occurrences in the acquisition. We have increased the time span to 5 milliseconds per division and then selected Mark All Trigger Event in Record. Once the visual trigger events have been found, you can easily navigate between the events using the arrow buttons. The Agilent DSO X4000A provides a standard feature called Zone Triggering, which can also enhance the standard hardware triggering capabilities of the product. Zone triggering allows you to define two rectangular areas on the screen that a single signal must or must not intersect. That's it. And zone triggering can only be scaled over a limited range before it stops working. Here's a quick comparison of the capabilities of the Tektronix visual trigger and the Agilent zone trigger. When you're working with complex signals, you need more advanced tools than basic edge triggering to capture signal events quickly and easily. Tektronix MSO DPO5000 series with Visual Trigger offers the most advanced capture tools you need to make your job easier and more efficient. Go to tektronix.com for more information.